producing two crops in one year, you've got the return on investment paired with the benefits of the conservation system. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi. I'm visiting with Alex Schaefer. Alex serves as a research agronomist for Iowa Soybean Association's Research Center for Farming Innovation. And Alex, we're here to talk about relay cropping. And, you know, some may believe that, well, it's a kind of a seasonal topic, but it's really a year-around thought process that goes into relay cropping. Let's first start with a description of what is relay cropping. So relay cropping is a practice where a cereal grain is planted in the fall of the year, and then a cash crop is planted green into that, in that cereal grain in the spring. Uh, the cereal grain is harvested in the middle of the summer, and then the row crop is left to begin its flowering cycle, reproductive phases, and taken to harvest at the end of the season, essentially producing two crops in one year and maintaining the conservation benefits of having the living root, the cover crop system, and, and then there's some return on investment as well. So really it's an opportunity for farmers to uh, enhance environmental performance but also looking at adding perhaps a, a second crop or a second revenue opportunity to their operation. Yeah, cereal rye is what we're working with, cereal rye and soybeans, and we know cereal rye does a great job of sequestering nitrate after corn, keeping soil in place, and promoting soil health, feeding the microbes with that living root year round. With relay cropping, you just the farmer takes it to the next level. They allow that cereal grain to come to maturity, be harvested, harvest the soybeans as well, and then you've got the return on investment paired with the benefits of the conservation system. Is this a relatively new approach, or, or how has this practice evolved? It's come about in, in parts of the world and parts of Iowa where traditional double cropping, maybe the growing season isn't long enough to allow for harvest our grain and then plant our soybeans after it. It, it gives us a chance to overlap those and and make it work for the state of Iowa where maybe double cropping hasn't been so successful. So for the farmers listening into this conversation, who's really at the ready to maybe participate in this kind of work? Yeah, the ideal farmer would be somebody who is an experienced conservationist type of farmer, somebody that has dealt with cereal grains or cereal rye specifically, and um, they're comfortable planting their soybeans green into the system, their planters outfitted, uh, with all the accessories they need to, to make that a successful operation. And then the next thing would be somebody that has something to do with the cereal grain that they produce. If you plant it back as a cover crop on your operation, or if you can feed it, or if you can sell it to a neighbor to plant as a cover crop. So those are some of the main considerations. What's the best way for a farmer to learn a little bit more about relay cropping or to, to consider it perhaps as part of their 2024 operation. Sure, so if you go to the website iasoybeans.com and if you go to the, the research and results tab, we have all of our reports from previous year's research, all the data is there. Then another good way is to call me directly, yeah. email me. Yeah. Um, I love talking to farmers about this practice and kind of giving them some tips and tricks on how to be more successful and, and realize that return on investment that we've seen. And that's really what it's all about. When we say we're driven to deliver at Iowa Soybean, we are a greater ROI on every acre. Relay cropping is perhaps a great way to do that and something for farmers to consider as they transition through harvest and think about the 2024 growing season. Reporting for this edition of the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putzi. Progress is a human invention. We look at our world and we imagine how to make it better. That's the power of human ingenuity. We can redefine what's possible. At Bayer, we're shaping the future of agriculture. Like farms where all life grows together. It's not impossible, it's progress.